Uh, I'm with Anne-Britt Oseboll uh, from Sweden. Um, we are at the end of the Rotary Peace Forum on its, on its third day. Um, Anne-Britt, nice to see you. Um, thank you for your contribution this morning. Uh, tell me how you found the Peace Forum. I find it very interesting. Uh, a lot of, of enthusiastic uh, talkers, speakers, um, which is, I think, the main thing with the Peace Forum is that you come here and you get some inspiration to go back to your country or wherever you live to start to work more for peace. So it's fulfilled your expectations as a, as a Rotary initiative? Yes, in some ways it has. I, I had a uh, seen a lack of, of female speakers. I would very much have seen more female speakers uh, because th there are very good ones. Uh, so I hope for the next forum I know that there will be more female speakers. But it has been very good inspirational. So that's one of the lessons you'll draw from this conference for the forthcoming fora in Honolulu and Hiroshima. Uh, yes, yes I do, yes. But it, it's always nice to make the interaction with other people coming from different parts of the world and um, it doesn't matter actually whether it's men or female, young or old, because we have so much to learn from each other. Are there particular aspects of the conference that will stay in your mind? Uh, are there, were there surprises? Uh, did it run uh, according to what you, what you expected? Yes, it had. I, I very much uh, like the historical part and the input that we also learn from our history, uh, because we, know we need our history to also to see what to do in the future. So that was uh, one of the things that I enjoyed very much. Tell us about uh, your position as Rotary Director, I think. So you're a Rotary Director at the moment from Sweden. That presumably is a rather time-consuming job. Tell us, uh, tell us about w what your particular focus is at the moment. Uh, as a director that means that you are a member of the, the international board and of course uh, my my things goes to, to new generation and, and to the youth exchange because I, I think the youth exchange program is uh, such a, a terrific program uh, then continuing with the uh, peace scholars um, I'm proud to be uh, a part of the uh, new peace center in Uppsala at Uppsala University in Sweden so um, I'm very keen on our peace programs. And uh, you would, I, I sense that you would say that it is this emphasis on youth work that is a particularly important contribution that Rotary can make. Yes, it is because uh, the youth is our future, and um, as I mean, it has been said by past uh, RA uh, president Carl Wilhelm Stenhammer from Sweden. He said that if every 16-year-old uh, would be an exchange student, there would be no war in the in, in the world, and I think it's so very true. Yes. And. Um Last question about Rotary itself. I mean, as a peace uh, as a peace initiator, is there a particular role that Rotary can can play? I mean, you yourself, I think, are a member of the Swedish Parliament, and uh, my question is really: Do you think that Rotary has a particular role in influencing governments? Or can or should it do more? Should it do less? I think we have as, as the Rotarians because um, due to that we are a uh, non-political, non-religious uh, organization. We, we don't care about um, if we are black or white and, and so forth. So I think that that is our, um, that is what we can, we can achieve quite a lot by being this non-political, non-religious organization. And we can put um, peace into world with our uh, occupations, our um, different uh, ways that we have in, in uh, different roles that we pl play in, in our different countries. And Britt, thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, would you like to say a few words at the end in Swedish to your colleagues back home? Gärna det. Jag säger gärna någonting på svenska och jag uppmanar alla att åka på ett Rotary fredssymposium för man lär sig mycket, man får mycket inspiration så att man kan fortsätta arbeta för fred i världen. Tack. Thank you very much indeed.